Probably made me go crazy. And there goes Gwen paddling to the launch area. Notice the custom cushion duct tape to his back. Absolutely amazing. You'd have better view over there though. Wherever you think's best, man. And here they are. Ron and Gwen May getting ready to make their historic Journey. Turn back up. There you go. Get both of them in there first. Push them all the way up in there. There's the throttle. And there's the man. Light them about in the middle and shove them. We're ready to go, John. I'm filming. Right, get out of the way, Ron. This historic journey is about to begin. Got fire. There he goes. You can hear the power. They're both lit. Rocket power to me. Absolutely amazing. History has just been made. Right. Incredible.
camera running? Yeah.
Less than three years after project commencement, the first Roton prototype flies over the Mojave Desert. The ATV, an approach and landing demonstrator, represents the first major milestone for Rotary Rocket Company. This achievement clearly demonstrates the ability of Rotary Rocket's management to meet the demanding goals they have set for themselves, on time and to budget. And takes the company one step closer towards its goal of providing safe and low-cost access to space for all. The Roton is a piloted, fully reusable rocket that will transport cargo and people to space at a fraction of the price of any of its competitors, totally revolutionizing the commercial space industry. The Roton will fly to space using conventional rocket engines and will return to Earth using rotor blades like a conventional helicopter. The company plans to provide satellite payload delivery services as well as transport people to and from the International Space Station. Over the last three years, Rotary Rocket has made significant technical progress on each of the key elements of the Roton. The rotor landing system, engines and propulsion, avionics and controls, landing gear, airframe, and crew cabin. In 1998, design and testing of the vehicle's rotor landing system began with tests of small tip rockets. Once completed, the tip rockets were installed on helicopter rotor blades and tested on Rotary Rocket's specially built World Tower facility in Mojave, California. The rotor blades were then added to the company's approach and landing demonstrator, the Roton ATV. The ATV is the first test vehicle in a step-by-step -step program to take Rotary Rocket Company into space. It was designed to test and demonstrate the Roton's unique landing system, which uses helicopter rotors to land after its return from space an idea first introduced by NASA in the 1960s. This first test vehicle is similar in concept to the first space shuttle, the Enterprise, which was flown by NASA to demonstrate the approach and landing of the shuttle. The next Roton test vehicle will use rocket engines to conduct flight tests to suborbit in early 2002. Rocket engine development started in 1997, and through these tests, the company developed its proprietary fuel injector system. Rotary Rocket has also been able to develop and demonstrate another promising new rocket engine technology. This past year, the company fired its first liquid oxygen-cooled engine, a technology only NASA has been able to demonstrate to date. Rotary Rocket believes that this technology will become a standard for rocket engine design in the next century. Achievements with the airframe and crew cabin are easy to see. Constructed by the company's integrated contractor, Scaled Composites, this project was completed over the course of one year and at the cost of only $4 million. So now, without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to the newest member of the Rotary Rocket team, Roton ATV. <laughs> and on March 1st, 1999, the Roton was rolled out for all the world to see. Broadcast live via satellite, this event was viewed by more than 16 million people, receiving extensive news and media coverage. In California's windswept Mojave Desert, this is the latest hope for private enterprise on the final frontier. It's not science fiction. Straight ahead, a new rock. The rollout event gave employees and investors an occasion to celebrate the successful achievement of a major milestone and also marked the beginning of a new phase of development for the company, vehicle flight test. Rotary Rocket's test pilots, recruited from military flight test programs, were put through an extensive training program using the ATV's integrated flight simulator. The Roton simulator is unique in that it is built directly into the ATV allowing the pilots to train using the same hardware they will use during the actual flight. Preparations for flight also included vehicle system checkouts and tie-down ground tests of the rotor system, which began in May of 1999. Then, on July 23rd, our two test pilots flew the Roton for the first time. The flight test program was underway. Through a series of flights that followed, the pilots were able to demonstrate that the Roton is stable in hover and controllable in forward flight. This is the same flight environment that the vehicle will experience after re-entry from orbit as it approaches the Earth to land. In total, 
The vehicle completed five successful takeoffs and landings and gathered a significant amount of data that can now be used to enhance the design of the next test vehicle. With the success of this first major program, the company has validated the Roton design concept and many of its primary components and has proven that a rocket can be flown and landed like a helicopter after its return from space. This brings Rotary Rocket Company one step closer to achieving its goal of making safe and low-cost access to space a reality in the next millennium.